Hey, what's up, guys? I was trying to do some live videos earlier to uh, just, like, film my workout, because I did a P90X3 workout, but the angles were all wrong, and it was just tough to get through it and pay attention and, and have you be able to see correctly what I was doing and, and just show you that. I'll, I'll work it out so I can show you guys some stuff, but, um, yeah, just to, just to show you what I go through and what I do. Anyway, I wanted to talk about getting a kick in the ass which I got today, actually. And sometimes we need that. Sometimes we need a kick in the ass because even for myself, I'm out and I'm actually helping people and working with people and showing people what to do and motivating people and kicking people in the ass myself. But sometimes I need a kick in the ass. And that's okay. And that's okay because it's not as easy as people might think it is to just do it like Nike says just do it it's not that easy it's not that easy especially with what we got going on with OI with what I personally have had going on throughout my life it's not that easy so sometimes I need a kick in the ass because sometimes I might slip sometimes I might uh, pause or falter or hesitate or lose focus because even though I know what I know knowledge wise and through experience and doing what I'm doing as a personal trainer I've always said every personal trainer needs a personal trainer every person that is out doing great things always has somebody that they that they're looking to always has a mentor to look to to guide them to help them you think Tony Robbins doesn't have somebody that he looks up to? He does. Trust me. Everybody sees him and they're like, dude, he's the epitome. But trust me, he's got mentors. So that's just one example. There's tons of examples of great people doing great things that still have somebody to look to. And that's about... And, and then, so you have a mentor, you have someone that's guiding you, and then you have to be willing to get kicked in the ass by those people. Because... Even for all that I know and all that I'm doing and all that I'm into, sometimes I will lose focus and sometimes I may not be doing what I need to be doing because I get stuck in the know-it-all situation where I know it all. I know that I'm not doing anything. I know that I'm not eating something correctly. I know that what I'm supposed to be doing, but maybe I'm not actually doing that thing. So I need to get a kick in the ass. And my wife gave that to me today. So I appreciate her because she is my inspiration, one of my inspirations, one of my greatest inspirations because she, you know, ever since we've been together, it's been 16 years now, she's always been one to show me that there's something possible when it comes to being physical and being fit and doing something beyond what I think is possible. So she's always been uh, uh, my, the cheerleader for me. And I've always appreciated that. So when she talks to me straight and when she kicks me in the ass, it's a good thing. I don't get upset and I don't, I don't not listen to her because that can happen too when you get a kick in the ass. You say, oh, I don't have to listen to this person. Why, how dare you tell me what to do? You know, especially someone like in my position where I'm, I'm out helping people. I'm actually able to do that with the knowledge and the experience that I have. I'm able to guide people and show people what to do and, and kick other people in the ass. But, you know, that doesn't mean that I know everything. So when my wife kicks me in the ass and says, hey, you got to get going, I got to listen. I have to be willing to listen. So I encourage you guys to be willing to not know it all. Be willing to keep yourself open and be willing to get a kick in the ass every once in a while because the kick in the ass today for me got me up and, and made me do a workout from the P90X3 series that I haven't done in a while. And, uh, and it was hard because I've been doing exercises and workouts, but not those. So it's really awesome that I actually got the chance to jump in there and do it because I was willing and open when I got kicked in the ass. So we all know when it happens. Sometimes it, it, it'll happen here. You know, I try and be as gentle as possible, but sometimes people need a kick in the ass. You need to be told straight, hey, that's not what you should be doing. 
you know, do it this way. You're going to be, you're going to be happier. You're going to see results. You're going to get what you want. So be open to it. Be open to the kick in the ass and don't take it personal because the people that are kicking you in the ass are the people that love you the most. That's the biggest lesson. The people that tell you straight, that tell you the truth, those are the people that actually care. It's true. So if I come at you and I tell you something and I say, hey, do it this way. Don't do it that way. Do it this way. And it seems harsh. It's okay because I actually care. And I want you to do better and I want you to achieve your goals. So that's it for this one. I hope that, uh, that there's some value for, this in, for you in this video. Get out there. Get your ass kicked. And uh, maybe kick someone else's ass that might need it. Alright? So comment below. Comment on this video. Do whatever you need to do. And uh, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts about getting kicked in the ass. Because today I got kicked in the ass and I'm looking, I'm looking to kick some booty. So let's do it. Alright.